everyone, it's Sai here. Today is August 27th, and it's been a week since my last update. And as I promised, I'm gonna be coming here every week, at least once a week, to give you guys an update as to how my past week was, what my um, you know weigh-in was, my what my progress has been. And so, yeah, here I am. Um, please disregard like a lot of craziness that's happening over there because. I'm going to Disney today. <laughs> my husband went to uh, to our storage unit because uh, when we moved to Hawaii, I only brought like two of them, and I was like dying. <laughs> uh, and then he just won this trip and bought brought all of them. I have forty of them. <laughs> I love them all. If you ever so, if you guys um want to you know see about do me do a blog about my um my Disney ears, let me know. Um, and obviously, please like the video if you like it and subscribe if you're new to my channel because um, I would love to have more people just come and follow me in this journey, um, which is mostly about my weight loss vegan journey. But also, if you're interested in um, little, you know, side things like that, let me know. Um, so yeah, I'm excited because I'm going in like a few hours. But um, so this past week, so it's been a week since the 20th, which was the the reofficial start of this journey um, in YouTube. So my beginning weight was 195.8, and today I was 190.3, which is a 5.5 um, loss, pound loss, which is really great. But obviously, like at the beginning, a lot of it is water weight. I know that it's not like I didn't lose like five pounds of fat in a week, but it's still kind of like motivating to see the scale starting to go down. Um, and just feeling, just feeling better every every day. Like once you start eating, start eating better, you just feel better, and you go to sleep better, and you just like wake up better. And it's just it's just a cycle, you know. So um, so that's been awesome. I think I give myself a C plus, B minus this week. No, I give myself yeah, like a B, a B, a B. <laughs> so I. I, it was great that I was home most of the time. I only traveled one day. Um, however, I knew that I was going to travel this coming week. So I didn't want to buy a lot of um, ingredients to make recipes and things like that because everything was going to go bad. So I just did a lot of simple recipes. They're, you know, delicious and nutritious, but they're just simple. Um, so, so yeah, I had a few frozen meals that I had from before, but a lot of it was just like being very, um, you know, very simple um, so it's not a lot of fun um, when I eat in a week videos that I will show you now but uh, they're you know it's good to like you, we don't eat like amazing things every single day it's just consistency that is the key you know and preparation so even though I knew I couldn't like prepare a lot because I only had one week I still made sure that I had enough for that one week you know um, and yeah, the only, I think the only, like, not so good ha thing that happened was this damn Impossible Burger, man. Had to. <sighs> so, well, I mean, the first one was because I wanted to bring more people into the vegan community and have them try it, you know. So we went to Burger King with a couple of my friends. Um, and they actually really liked it, so it was good. So that was one of the reasons. I guess it's good, you know. I did one for the team. <laughs> I'm sure I didn't have to have the fries with it, but whatever. And then, uh, then the next day I also had it because I was I was traveling and uh, I I could have had other things. It was not because I was traveling. It was because I was craving it, and it's very addictive. And I just decided no more, no more. So, so that was the only two bad things technically that I had um, this week. Um, and then oh well, and then one more thing. I was really craving peanut butter. I usually don't have peanut butter, but I was really craving it that day, um, and I wasn't feeling very well on the weekend, and so you know I had it, and that, that's you know that's fine. It's it's not gonna be the end of the world, and it, you just move on. And actually, it, it was exactly what I wanted. I felt really much better. Um, it was actually frozen bananas and peanut butter. I just really wanted something to refresh me and then feel me like comfort feeling, and that was I just did it, and I had it, and I moved on, and you know, and. I feel like overall the week was successful and that's just really key to to not like you know beat yourself up if you're having one thing that is like oh my god this is not on the protocol but it's still technically healthy and it's you know and it's just 
for one meal, you know, your body is not going to be like, oh my god, you did this, so now you're going to gain this much, you know, the, the body just going to process it, and that's it, and you just move on, so, so yeah, that, I, I feel like that's the update for this week, next week is going to be exciting, so I'm so excited for next week, last time when I was in Disney, I was able to do um, whole food plant based, uh, for the most part, and, because Disney is amazing, and they just go above and beyond, I love it. And so I am so excited for our next uh, next video. Maybe in this video will be a couple of videos because I'm I'm just looking forward to just sharing um, my experience there. And um, so if you're interested, make sure that you watch next videos. And you can actually do the little bell uh, notification that reminds you that there's more videos that are being updated and uploaded. So um so yeah. So I'm excited for next video and then after this I'm going to put all the pictures and some videos that I made throughout the week of what I ate uh, that week. So I made either little recipes or little um, little you know taste tests, taste tests that I did last last week during the during what I ate and um and I hope that it's helpful and I hope that it inspires you guys to just um you know start incorporating really healthy foods to your every day um and have a great rest of the week i am going to have a really good flight and go to disney and i will see you guys next week with a brand new video aloha this is a plate that i get at the food court near where i work it's a mediterranean place that sells this vegan well veg vegetarian plate it has a falafel hummus, paprika ganoush, um, grape leaves with um, rice inside. This was at lunch at work. I had brown rice with cauliflower and then I put this delicious SOS free pesto sauce that I make. Yes, I know I had the impossible burger, not the best choice, but I went with a couple of friends and I made them try it and you know expose them to order ordering the impossible burger instead of a regular whopper so that's a plus right <laughs> it was really good I love this thing and <laughs> yours is so tough. one two three cheers, cheers. <laughs> oh yours is like a perfect triangle oh, good <laughs> job so I just got home from work and um, it's about 6 p.m. but I'm not really like hungry hungry but I'm also like a little hungry and I'm actually really really hot because it's hot here and one of the things that I do that I want to show you guys is that I have here um, these little frozen wrap thingies it's actually half a banana and um, because I don't want to eat a whole banana and I love a frozen banana and you can just put like cut it in half like when I buy it I literally just wait until it's ripe and then cut it in half and then freeze it and then um um, so yeah, it's just um, you know, it doesn't look it doesn't look appetizing. I can say that the color is a little off, but it is so good, and you eat it very slowly, and it really fills you up, and it's really refreshing, and it's better than just like I can eat a banana in like a minute. <laughs> this takes me a few minutes, you know, and it refreshes me, and like it takes time to eat it, and so it's a nice trick when I'm like hungry but not really hungry, and um, um, and I want to be refreshed. So give it a try. So I am actually a little hungry before going to bed and so I don't want to go to sleep being hungry so I'm just making like one potato for potato chips in, a, in the air fryer and I'm using this like really cheap mandolin and like literally I have it in the second setting and all I go is like this and they come out perfect. Like, look how perfect that is. So I'm just gonna yeah, cut a few of these put it in the uh, air fryer for um, 20 minutes and just have a little snack. And this is what I'm putting them in the air fryer. Kind of like scalloped potatoes. Uh, but for the first pass, I'm just going to lay them all like this. Wait 10 minutes and then I'll kind of flip them around. But um, yeah, that's what they look like now. I preheat the air fryer just because I feel like it does make a difference. And then when I put it back in, I put it back at 20 minutes. There it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna check them out because I know. Yeah. 
so it's starting to get gold. Usually they take 20 minutes if they're like fried, but since they're like really, really thin, um, these are not gonna take too long. So I'm gonna just mix them around. Um, see, they're already getting really golden. I'm gonna get a little spatula thing, mix them around, separate a few of them. the lid again probably for another like four minutes and there's like less than five and a half minutes left but um i'm pretty sure this is ready look at that they're crispy and delicious and look at you like they're so crispy <laughs> so i'm just gonna actually put them on a towel and um then you'll see Okay, I just want you to literally hear this crunch. It was ridiculous. Like, this is better than a potato chips in a bag, in any bag. Like, so good. Ridiculous. driving to Haleakala right now. It is kind of sunny, kind of raining. It's like, who knows what it's going to be up there. Um, when you go up to Haleakala, it's like horrible and then you get up above 10,000 feet and then you are above the clouds usually. So even though it's rainy here in the Super Bowl, it's probably going to be gorgeous and beautiful up there. So I'm still going. However, it's about five o'clock and I was kind of hungry and I don't know why I'm doing this lately because I've never been a person that like, oh my god, I'm craving like McDonald's X, Y, and Z or like, or got, goes to like McDonald's or Burger King a lot. I just, I'm just not, just never been a thing until this thing. Ah! Like, and it's also funny because I like it. I don't, I, I don't love it. I like it, but I think it's the whole like, you know, fast food like you know shit that they put in there that it's like all um what's it called like um it's addictive it is it has to be like i'm craving it so much in the last week so i'm not liking that and i don't want that to be a thing and so um yeah it's gonna i think this is gonna be the last one that i'm gonna have in a very long time because just because like i don't want it to be a thing so I have it because I, I am hungry um, because my lunch was so spicy I couldn't eat all of it but um I'm just going to really make it a point not to continue to order them because it's, it's not healthy it's not healthy and um, I know it's not and I don't like the fact that I feel like it's addicting so I just haven't thought about this until like today where I'm like I don't know why I'm craving it, but I am, you know, because sometimes we crave things because they're, oh, you know, I'm craving X, Y, and Z. This one I can't pinpoint, and I feel it's because of that, you know, so, anyway, so I just wanted to kind of discuss that and share that, but, um, 
I will I will eat my burger once I get above the clouds. And here I am eating the impossible burger, but what a view. I'm 10,000 feet up in the air and it was just amazing. I'm just craving potatoes for some reason, so I just made two potatoes in the air fryer and I put some of this um, no salt added mustard that I got from Amazon. I got a lot of it, <laughs> but it's delicious, really nice. So that's gonna be my snack slash dinner. We'll see if I get hungrier, but this is what I was craving, so this is what I'm having. I'm going on vacation in two days and I bought these when I was in um, Maui. They're actually um, Hawaiian sweet potatoes. They're really hard to find, even though I live in Hawaii. <laughs> but um, I bought them and I never tried them, so I'm actually gonna um, put them in the oven at uh, 400 degrees for a little bit over an hour. These are huge, like humongous, so um, it, may, it may take a little longer. And um, I read that you can freeze them, so that's gonna be my plan, and I will let you guys know how it turns out. So they're gonna go in the oven right now. I just washed them and lined the pan with uh, aluminum foil. And I'm going to just leave them in there for a little bit over an hour, check them and see if I need to put them a little longer. Okay, and I just took these out. These were actually in there for um, almost two hours because they were really big. So um, I kept checking and they were in like too soft, but now they are. Um, so it's like pretty soft. And one thing that I do all the time, I don't know if anybody does this, but it's delicious. As I check them, I put holes in them and then some of this oozes out. Well, this one already, I, I had it out for a while and, and caramelized already, but you see that? It like literally caramelizes and I just like scoop it out and then um, when it's like ooey and I let it cool a little bit and I eat it out of the fork and it's literally like eating a lollipop. I'm not kidding you. Like this one, for example, over here, I okay, scooped up. It's like oozing, I let it cool, and it's literally like candy. Literally. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna let these cool, and then I'm going to see how I'm going to put them in the freezer. I'm definitely gonna have like one, definitely gonna, I'm leaving in two days, so I'm definitely gonna have one today, and maybe two tomorrow, so I'll, I'll freeze the other three. But yeah, this is what they look like. So for lunch, actually it's kind of breakfast. I've been up since like 6 in the morning and it's like 10.30, but I'm hungry to eat kind of lunch food. So um, I made, I put a, a really, really big bowl of um, like humongous <laughs> and it has a, a lot of um, mixed greens, about a cup of rice, about a cup of um, beans, uh, one really big um, beet. And I put a little bit of vinegar on top of it and um, my homemade hummus and baba ganoush mix that I made um, all to, um, oil and salt free so yeah I'm gonna go eat this watch a little bit of TV and it's a beautiful day here today so I'm gonna enjoy this love is beets. I love beets, but it takes forever to cook them. So one of the things that I love to do is buy these kind of containers. So you can buy it, they're usually in the produce section, in the refrigerated produce section, and they only have beetroot. Because the problem is that pickled beetroot, which is what not the one thing that I love, love, it always comes with salt and sometimes even sugar. So, um, but definitely always, always salt. So what I do instead is I buy these um, and then I just put them in, a, I cut them up. So this is actually um, just one of these containers in a glass container because it'd be um, this color is any other containers. So I put it in glass and then I'm just going to pour some vinegar in it. Literally just pour some vinegar in it. And um, let it sit, honestly, just for like even an hour and it will be pretty pickled. And it's a pretty easy hack and uh, I love it. So, there you go. And I know this is not technically in my protocol, but I'm craving it and it is, you know, a day where I feel like I need to eat anything I'm craving. And so I'm just having two um, frozen bananas with some um, natural peanut butter coconut spread. And um, yeah, just because this is what I'm craving. 
fun lot. It's not horrible for you. I mean, it's not part of my protocol, but there's worse things I could be eating, so I'm just going to eat it. So I'm making a tabbouleh salad, and um, I have in here a, a whole chopped um, bunch of parsley. Okay, one bunch. I have two tomatoes. I have one cucumber and a quarter of an onion. I'm going to squeeze one lemon, and I'm probably going to put about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And I'm going to make it into like a tabbouleh salad. So I'm not going to put any, any quinoa or starch in it because I'm going to have a separate starch. So this is going to be a refreshing, delicious salad. Trick, um, if you don't own, I mean I do own a squeezer, but I don't want to make it dirty. Um, you just simply put a fork and you just like, you know, squeeze it and like turn the fork around. And it really, really helps get the, um, get everything out. And here it is. It's um, a finished little tabbouleh salad. It's very acidic, but I love that. So um, that's usually why a lot of people put a little bit of oil in it, just to make it a, you know, not so acidic. Um, but you don't need it, in my opinion. I mean, I think it's delicious and refreshing. It's very refreshing. And so yeah, that's gonna be my salad today. And this is another lunch that I had at work. I had my tabbouleh salad. I had my pickled beets and then one of the Hawaiian sweet potatoes and I sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on top of it and the plate was humongous. That was such a big meal and it was so good. Okay so I tried these Hawaiian sweet potatoes that I baked yesterday and I had it for lunch today and it was so sweet. I mean it was really good but it was so sweet. It's hard to eat it as an actual meal to be honest with you because it tastes like candy. <laughs> um, so I am going to try to do something for dinner with them, um, but I don't want to eat the whole thing again. So I'm going to do an experiment and I'm going to try to make like a puree, or not puree, like a, a mashed potato, but like the really silky version of it with oat milk. So let's see how this turns out. I think I'm going to, I'm just winging it. <laughs> I think I'm going to, um, Omo, what do you think? He's, uh, yeah, he's like, what are you doing? I think I'm going to do put one of these with like a quarter cup of the milk and maybe some like garlic seasoning or something because if not, it's going to taste like super sweet. So I think I'm going to put a little bit of some seasoning and um, let's see. So here we have uh, one sweet potato and I just took this, this skin off and I'm going to put a quarter of a cup of the uh, oat milk. I got the fat, the low fat one. I never tried it before and um, this thing is amazing. I can't even imagine how the full fat one tastes, but I looked at it because usually, you know, um, I didn't plan to talk about this right now, but uh, um, usually the like low fat, fat free milk, it's just full of sugar and carbs in like the regular dairy, you know, uh, aisle. So I was like, why is this one different than the full fat milk and uh, oat milk? And I'm thinking it's because they water it down a little bit and that's fine with me because this one tastes really good. I think the other one may be too thick. I mean, I, I need to try it. I'm not gonna say anything, but uh, it's so good, so good. So we're gonna put a quarter of a cup. Okay, maybe a little more, maybe another cup, but another quarter of a cup. Yeah. And then I'm gonna put some onion powder. Okay. Okay, and then let's see. And then here we go. Let's start slow. Because I don't want to do it too, too much because then it's gonna be like a paste. So I want to be cautious of that too.
Um, consistency wise, I'm pretty happy with it. Let's uh, check the flavor. Let's see. The like, consistency wise is pretty good. Mmm. I like um I like that I added a little bit more of the seasoning because it definitely helps a little bit tone down the sweetness of it. It's pretty good. I kinda like it. It's different. I've never had it before, so it's different. Um and the zucchini fries are pretty they're soft. They're never they don't get crispy like fries. But they taste delicious. And I just I was with Joe's watching to the beautiful sunset really pretty sunset minus messy kitchen <laughs> but uh yeah pretty happy with this i'm gonna go eat now <laughs>